of Dr. Tozama. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, first of all, well done. It's an amazing achievement. How are you feeling? Thank you. Um, good morning. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to the journey. Um, also, I'll be working uh, closely with the South African Young Academy of Science. So I'm very excited. It's an exciting moment. <laughs> It is, isn't it? And, you know, we look at COVID-19, the, the, the pandemic itself, and it's almost shone a light on the importance of science and the sciences and scientists, uh, because here we are all sitting back waiting for somebody to come up with a cure, somebody to come up with a vaccine, and this is where science really plays a major role, isn't it? It is, it is, and we have to look in all angles. Um, for example, traditional medicine also has a role definitely to play in finding a, a, a cure or finding a solution, if I can put it that way, to, co to, to combat this virus. So scientists, it, it has a bigger role in trying to find uh, solutions to the social challenges that we're having. Are you, are you also uh, participating in a company that provides the ideal, it's a vehicle to authenticate traditional medicines and produce the medicine for community consumption. Uh, we talk about traditional medicines. We've seen uh, during the pandemic uh, so many different types of medicines coming, you know, uh, from our homes, you know, try this, try this, this, this can work. Also showing an importance on the reliance of traditional medicines. Uh, how, how important is it that, you know, we, we actually start taking traditional medicines seriously? It's so critical. And you'll remember that in our community, it's not something new. We've been using traditional medicine for decades. Uh, but what has been lacking over these decades is documentation of scientific evidence. It's not that scientific evidence is not there, because we know that these formulations, these remedies, they do work. However, what has been lacking for years is documentation. And also looking at dosages, because some of the herbs, we think that they are toxic. Whereas at a certain dose state, they become toxic. So definitely, uh, traditional medicine is the future, but it's a knowledge that has been embedded in our community. I'm, I'm from the rural area. So we've been using this hub for, for ages, but it's high time now that we document uh, the scientific evidence. Very true. And uh, I know you mentioned quickly when, uh, just as I started speaking to you about the next generation of scientists, uh, are we getting uh, South African youngsters to be interested in the sciences at all? Yes, we are. Um, we have it, females as well. Uh, there is this new wave that um, I'm observing that is, you know, across uh, South Africa. Uh, for example, one of the young scientists that we're working with, she's uh, doing her PhD, and she's working on a formulation for um, fibroids. And, and you will know that in terms of the mainstream health care, what we call her mainstream health care, when someone has fibroids, the recommendation will be to do surgi surgi surgical. That's where the cure is. However, in our communities, there have been claims that there are formulations that are coming from herbs. So the lady that we're working with is looking at that project. So there's a new way we are seeing a young scientist, young, I mean young women, young men, becoming more and more interested in sciences and looking at science and the community, science and the society, trying to find the solutions that will help our society. So definitely young people are starting to be more and more interested in science. Now, in 2016, you were among the Mail and Guardian's top 200 young South Africans, uh, uh, you know, and you're a recipient of the Tech Women Fellowship uh, at the present moment. I mean, your, your achievements are quite numerous, including uh, you published as well. You have a book called 20 Fantastic Life Lessons. Uh, to any kid that wants to get into the sciences, wants to follow uh, the path you've taken, you know, what do you say to them? What's your first lesson to, to that youngster? Um, firstly... They should embrace self-leadership. Uh, self-leadership is actually an ability to lead yourself from one point to personal growth and to excellence. And when you need help, please don't be shy to ask people for help. You know, um, you, you, you need a, a community. I'm coming from a culture of um, when one wins, we win all. So when you do need help, please do look for, for that help. But embrace self-leadership, be able to govern yourself from one point to personal growth and to excellence, and you have great expertise, so everything is possible. 
Okay, fantastic. Lovely chatting with you and uh, well done once again. You've been selected for the World Science Forum Steering Committee, Dr. Toza Makwebani uh, Ogudleye. Uh, she's from VUT.